All right, Mr. J, are you ready to review this movie? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Hey there, everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here. I am here with the mystery of the J. I'm just kidding, Mr. J is good. And we're gonna be reviewing Kong Skull Island. Kong Skull Island is directed by Jordan Vaught Roberts. If you don't know who this director is, he actually directed a little indie <laughs> film called The Kings of Summer. And I have seen The Kings of Summer and I thought it was okay. I remember really liking the first half of the movie and then the second half, it just completely fell apart there. One of the writers is Dan Gilroy who wrote Nightcrawler, Real Steel. And of course you have the talents of Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman, John C. Riley, and a whole lot of talented people here. So Kong Skull Island tells the story of a group of scientists and you have the military as well. They come together to go to this island to do research. But when they go into this island, I should say, Kong has unleashed his rage. Yeah. Let's just say that. Now that we have seen Kong Skull Island, I could definitely say personally that I had a lot of fun with this movie. Um, what about you? I really you enjoyed say? it. It's something different like, compared to the the storyline and everything. So as far as the pauses go, I'll definitely start by saying that I did really like most of the acting in this film. Like I thought Tom Hiddleston did a really good job in this film. I thought Brie Larson as the photographer, she did really good. John Goodman, he's really good. I mean, he's John Goodman. So at this point, it's not really a surprise to say that he's really good because he always brings his all in the movies he's in. And of course, Samuel Jackson, he's terrific in this film as well. Um, definitely has one of the more compelling characters for sure as this sergeant because obviously he's experienced a lot in his life. And you could see his motivation to uh, wanting to end Kong. So I have to say, I really liked him, along with John C. Riley. I thought John C. Riley was actually really good in this film. And I'll be honest, John C. Riley was actually the th one thing I was a little worried about, because from the trailers, every time he tried to be funny, it just I just wasn't really laughing like when he was mm -hmm. aiming at humor. Mm -hmm. So he was the one I was a little bit worried about. But I have to say, he actually surprised me, because because not only does his comic relief work like in this film, but along with Samuel Jackson, he actually has an interesting character as well. And I feel like out of all the characters, he actually might have the most depth to him. He's the character, I guess you could say, you root for the most. Yeah. Toby Kebbell, yeah, he's good in this film, but he's not really in the film that much. Jason Mitchell from Straight Outta Compton is actually in this film too, and I have to say, he did a really good job. I thought visually, for the most part, this is a very visually stunning movie like most of the visuals in this film especially especially when it comes to king kong himself he looks terrific and of course the scenes whenever king kong does show up uh show up he's really good um it's a lot of fun to see him uh just be king kong killing off all these people left and right maybe even uh face some creatures along the way and speaking of creatures that's something i'll have to say i really like the creatures that you see the characters run into yeah like even some of the designs like i was really impressed with some of the creature designs as far as like cinematography like as far as how the movie looks i thought it looked beautiful like whoever is the cinematographer for his film did a good job excellent job i should say shooting the film like the color palettes the look of the island when you see the sunset everything it looks beautiful you could see everything very clearly and i thought jordan did do a very good job directing this film considering this is his first big budget film to direct he, he did a very good job. You definitely do feel like you're in this atmosphere. You actually do feel like you're in this island with all of these people. And whenever you see them fighting off like all of these creatures. I even thought most of the writing was very well done. So like you can say basically they took the time and effort of actually getting it correctly. 
Yeah, yeah. You like you could tell they're aware that they're making this fun B-rated kind of monster movie. Right. You could tell they want to take advantage of that, and I felt like that the writing was definitely very well done. That climax. You know, mm, yes. with King Kong, that was awesome. That put a huge smile on my face. Mr. J, what were your positives for this film? For my positive, I like the way like each actor did their best of like playing their part, like being the characters, and I like the way they like the writers. I actually made the storyline from the beginning to the end, and I like the way they had the story for King Kong, why he's like the only one. Yeah, like, yeah. They get, it was like it made you wonder like why he's the only one. Of, of his kind, uh, as a girl, as an ape or dash gorilla, how mostly we want to put it. Oh yeah, and how they make you sympathize for him. Yes, and it's a good thing. It gave a reason why, in the in the movie, it gives you a, like a reason why he's the only one. I like the way they add the details of the of the species, like insects wise, and the unknown they're gonna expect of coming and killing them. Even the detail of the island. And the reason why, like, nobody has not spotted this island for so many years. And I also forgot to mention this, but I actually did, <clears throat> do think that the movie did a very good job of building tension. Like, you know, there will be a quiet moment as the characters are facing <laughs> a certain creature. Yes. It gets quiet, and then the intensity builds up and builds up until a creature will yeah. pop out of you. Yeah. My palms were actually shaking in some scenes in the movie because of how intense and how they would build mm -hmm. up, like the intensity the, of the of the situation. Yeah. yeah, visually, like it's the same opinion as yours is, like exactly the way you described it. Uh, as a visually stunning yeah. movie. Yes, even some Al Jackson, he did a good great part. Of his of his situation and he put himself into it. They did a perfect thing on the action wise, like how uh, King Kong it is from the old from the older movies. You can say they changed some of the action the action wise for him. Yeah, yeah. It's something different, like most people didn't expect from him as. As an ape. Especially since just as a whole, this is definitely a different story for King Kong. It's not your traditional, he has a bond with the woman, and then he's on top of the building, and then he dies. Yeah. Like, it's definitely a different kind of King Kong story. Yeah, it's something different that you don't expect in a movie. Yeah. And I like the way he got along with the main, like, uh, the main village is there. Yeah. He knew that he had to protect him for, you know, as long as they're trying to protect him, he knows he'll protect him from the... Unknown creatures is coming up ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. But as far as like negatives, I will say with this film, I do feel like that some of the characters didn't get the development that they could have gotten. Like, it's not like this movie needs to be full on developed, but I do think that I wish we could have learned a little more about the characters. Like, John Goodman, I understand where he's coming from, like, I understand his motivation enough, but I felt like he was actually underused. I felt like he didn't really get the screen time that maybe the trailers made it out to be. Toby uh, Kebble, um, I felt like he was definitely very, very underused. You know, as, as good as he was in his role, I felt like he was very underused and his character I did feel was wasted. There's this Chinese girl, I think she was even from The Great Wall just recently. I thought her character was very pointless. The movie wouldn't be any different if she wasn't in the film. And most of the characters were paper thin. They're not exactly the most deepest characters ever. Like, I still cared for at least most of the characters. Like, Tom Hilson, I still care about. Brie Larson, I still care about. You know, John Goodman, Jason Mitchell, I care about them. Yeah. But, you know, they're not exactly, like, the deepest characters, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And also, I thought some of the dialogue I did feel like was a little poorly written. There were times where I was like, oh man, that's that's not good. Some of the visuals, well, for the most part, I thought this film was visually stunning. I did feel like at times the visuals were very noticeable. I was able to notice when something looked a little CG in my opinion. And I will say, as far as my last problem goes, just that some of the moments I thought felt kind of forced like they didn't really have maybe the right execution well for mine is like some of the characters that were not well known or at least been used as much or like your point of view like, uh, underused uh, underused mm -hmm. i think they should have been more used into the storyline mm -hmm. yeah i agree with that instead of underused there are some parts of slightly for like forced like you're saying and i think i agree with you i think i noticed some of the parts like you noticed was slightly forced into it. 
Oh yeah, overall you guys, I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island. It's definitely the right movie to put in the Godzilla Kong cinematic universe. And of course, there is a little post credit scene that was awesome. I'll definitely say that. I that was think a cool we all knew that. Scene. I know what that is. So. Oh yeah. It's definitely an escapism movie. Like yeah. it's definitely the kind of movie you watch to escape from reality. Mm -hmm. And I think the movie definitely does do a good job of being that escape have a fun time at the movies kind of film. Yeah. And, um, you know, there were a couple of interesting characters like with John C. Riley and Samuel Jackson. I like the way I kind of, like, you said with King Kong versus, like, Godzilla. Like the way it sets up that. Yeah, it sets up. I'm going to give Kong Skull Island three out of four stars. I had a blast with this film. It was a lot of fun. Go King Kong. I'll give it three and a half bananas out of five. Nice, Man. nice. Thank you very much, Mr. J, for no reviewing Kong Skull Island with me. No problem. You can say it was a huge split down the middle of the banana? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, in the comments down below, uh, let me know what you think about Kong Skull Island. Which film would you say you like more? Did you like Godzilla more, or would you say you like Kong Skull Island more? This is 22 Tiger Dude here with... Mr. J. And don't forget that we will always have... Bananas play with a tiger down the middle. With the Why, why would a tiger be in the middle of a banana split? <laughs> I do not know. Tiger power. All right, Mr. J. Are you ready to review this movie? <laughs> Okay, it's gonna make me question about the thing he wants if we do this. <laughs> okay, uh, take two. <laughs> uh, great start. Okay, so you ready? Okay. All right, Sarah. Oh God. <laughs> you got it. Mr. J. Mr. J. Oh my God. All right, Mr. J. You ready to review Kong Skull Island? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I was about to do it because I screwed up. <laughs> oh, this intro is going to take a while to film. <laughs> it is. Okay. You think you're ready? <laughs> Let me get this a little after out first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. Okay. okay. All right, Mr. J. Are you ready to review Kong Skull? I <laughs> Damn it. That was me. That was me. Okay. That was, I, that was totally it because you made me so okay, happy. I, okay, I fucked up on that. That was me. That was me. That I was fucked up on that. I was 100% you.